Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have discussed about that home brand. So right now from here, you can update your brand and how you can visible it in your site. I have already discussed about that things with you. And here you can see it's not successfully visible or all that brands. So now in this video, I want to make our dynamic. That means here, this slider, I want to dynamic. Okay, so here if you want to make it dynamic, how can do that work in this video? I will show you that things with a live example. So friend, our procedure will be just like that same. Okay, like here that one of the image field will be needed. We have to create one of the database table and also into the database table that is the images field. That is our one of the title field and short description field. So here I want to do and to create one of the um, one of the table. So if you want to create this table, what exactly you have to do? You have to actually migrate it and also you have to create one of the model for this one. So I have already discussed about that main basic functionality. So right now we will apply it on here. So I want to open with the CMD and now first of all, I want to create one of the uh, model. Okay. So here, if you want to create that model as a PHP artisan and make and then model, and I want to create one of the model as a slider. Okay. I click create on the slider model. And also I want to migrate one of the file click as a enter. Now it will be created two of this file or it will be created one of the model and also it will be created one of the migration file, right? So now I want to create it. So here you can see it's now created one of the model as a successfully and there is our migration file. So now go to our two of this file. So here it will be just like our brand, right? So into the brand we have already discussed about that things with you. I have already discussed about that brand. You can see to the brand there is actually the name, there is our brand images. So it will be just like that same. So here, first of all, I want to create our table. So I have created the migration file. So that is in our database, that is migration and that is our sliders, right? So now I want to do and to put that our field name. So or they have the field name will be needed as a three field will be needed, right? Mm, yeah, that is actually the images and that is our title and there is a shop description. So now I want to do, I want to take another one. I take another one as a title Our mm, database field name will be as a title and also uh, another one I want to take another one will be as a description. So this will be as a description field and also another one for the image. So I name it our database field name as an image and the title will be as a string. Okay. That will be as a string and that is our description. Description will be actually large amount of the um, character. So here make, make that she, I, I, I want to do and to make it as a text. Okay. That will be as a text field. So here we can actually add multiple uh, text in containing particular that area and that will be as a string. Okay, that image will be as a string. And also you can make it as a nonable, then better. I want to do and to make it as a nonable. That means if this is empty, then it will be okay. So I make it as a nonable. Okay, so that will be as a nonable. I make it as a nonable and the nonable. Perfect. So that is our database table. So now I want to do and to click as a save all. And after that we have to do. Uh, that is our route list. So right now we don't need this and here after this After this so here I want to do and to migrate it. So if you want to migrate you have to run as a PHP artisan and Migrate Right, so that is a PHP artisan migrate. So that is the same command I have already used a lot of the time if you click the enter you can see it's not successfully created our this table so if you go to our database and here if you go there is a new one is added you can see there is a slider so there is a slider there is a three field as a title description and the image perfect so after that i want to do and to make our update our model that means you do the model i have also created on the model as a slider so here it will be just like our mm, better brand that is will be as a protectable you can see so now i copy it and now here i want to do and to update that part in our slider so after this, I paste it. So here that will be a three field. So I want to do and to update that three field. So our one field I have declared as a title that will be as a title that will be as a description. And also I want to make it as an image that will be as an image. Okay, friend. So make that sure you updated your all that field in your model. So I have created model name as a slider. 
perfect now click the save all so right now we don't need this model we don't need our this uh, migration file okay so perfect so now i want to do i want to work uh, for our um, this portion that means here i want to put one of the link okay so here if you put it then automatically one of the page will be loaded so if you want to put that so that is in our sidebar now go to our sidebar so into the sidebar i want to create one of the new route i copy it so that is our sidebar so here i want to do i want to create one of the new route so it will be as a home slider so i name it as a home dot slider whatever you want so right now i make it as a home slider so now we have to create it we have to create it in our web route go to our web route so that is our category controller before i have already discussed about that things with you there is a middleer so better here here i want to create it so i put some of the node that will be as a um, admin okay admin all route so that will be as a admin all route so now here i want to do i want to add one of the route i copy it and here i paste it so i name it our route will be as a home slider i copy it so that will be our home slider friend i hope you already know better i want to do i want to create another controller okay so if you want to create another controller what exactly you have to do i create as a php artisan make controller and i want to create one of the home controller okay i name it as a home controller so for home related everything i want to save with a specific this controller area so that is our php artisan make controller and i name it as a home controller now click as a enter now click as a enter now you can see our controller is successfully created so now if you go our controller so that is our controller and that is our home controller right so now first of all we have to add this controller i hope you remember that part in laravel 8 that is actually a little bit changed so here we have to first of all use it i have to use this home controller so that is our home controller i copy it so now i updated that home controller so now we can actually access our this home controller so here um, that is our admin all route so i updated our home controller into the home controller i want to create one of the method and i just name it as a home slider okay i name it as a home slider so it should be as a one of the path name i want to declare as a home and then the slider okay and that will be as a home slider so now i want to do and to create this method as a home slider in our home controller so now go to our home controller and here i want to create this method so it should be as a public and then function how much easy it is you can see friend if you already understand my all the previous uh, lectures then i think it should be very much easy to you so into the home fun, um, slider what exactly i want to do that means when you click as a home slider then that will be loaded one of the view page right so here we have to return one of the view page so now i want to do i want to return one of the view page so if view page means here i didn't create any view page so better i want to do that is our admin so into the admin i want to do better that is our brand i have created before so for the slider i want to also create another new folder then it should be better i name it as a slider okay slider so i have created one of the new folder as a slider and into the folder area i want to create one of the file and i just name it as index.blade.php okay friend so now here i want to actually return it that means into the home controller it should be returned direct to the admin folder and then the slider slider folder and then the index right so here i want to pass it that means right now this page will be loaded on here and also i want to do um, in particular right now i don't have any data so whatever the data will get from here i want to actually pass it into the index space you can also do that work so for doing this here what exactly you have to do i want to use this looking into rm so here i take one of the variable as a sliders okay i take it as a sliders and then our model so here also we have to do we have to add our model right so i have already created one of the model so now we have to use it use and here we have to add our app that means with the app folder i have created this model 
there is a controller model so into the apps and into the apps and then the our models folder and that is our i have created as a slider right so now i name it as a model okay models and then here i have to do i have to add our name as a slider so that will be our slider so make that sure you updated that part so that is our models folder there is a models folder and there is our slider model so that is our slider model right so now with this slider i want to get all the data so here with this slider i want to get all that latest data so i have already discussed about that things with your friend that is our latest so latest all the data i want to do i want to get it so i want to get this latest data okay so i get all the data from our database and now i take these things with this variable so now we can actually pass it we can pass it into the uh, our index page so if you want to pass it we have to pass it with the compact right so now i simply pass it with the compact i hope friend it's very much clear to you so right now i don't have any data so literally when we insert some of the data we'll get it and then i get it and take the things with this variable and now i pass it into the index page and here i pass it with the compact so now i want to do I want to update our index that means that is our index space so there is a slider index space so this space will be um, just like our brand actually okay so from our brand sorry into the brand there is an index so from the brand index i copy everything okay i copy everything from to this position and now here into the index that means in our slider index here i paste it okay friends so here i have already updated everything that is our extended layout will be as a home admin master and there is a section admin i hope you already remembered that part so with this section it should be loaded in our component area so that will be as a all slider okay that will be as a all slider and for the slider they have the our all that actions and here it will be display all the tower um, th field that means the serial number it will be display the serial number it will be display uh, there is a title description and the image right so now i want to do i want to add as a slider title so here i want to change it it will be as a slider title okay that will be as a slider title and then it will be display the slider description or description so that will be as a description and then i want to display our another one another one is the image so it will be display that image and then also it will be display that action and then also we have to do the same things friend you can see before we did that work for our brand so our concept will be just like that same so from our home controller i pass it right now as a sliders right so now i want to do and to change it as it will be as a sliders as a slider okay that will be the slider and then if you want to display your index page so you can see that is actually the same thing so that's a brand so now i want to update it as a sliders and now with this slider with this slider i want to visible our field name our field name i have declared as a title description and the image so that will be as a title so now i want to do and to display our title right so first of all there is a title and then the description and for the description it will be um, that is actually the images so here i want to display that image right so if you want to display that image um, that is our another brand title for the no data for the our created ad so here i don't want to visible that created ad better i remove it okay so before i have already discussed about that things with you and now i take another td another td will be with this slider i want to visible the description or description field name as a description i copy it so that will be as a description right and also there is our image so now with this slider so with this slider i want to visible our field name our field name for the images as image so now i copy it and now here i update our image right and also there is the image white height you can actually change it and then that is our forage so into the forage if you want to edit it if you want to delete it you can delete it so with this slider you have to add it with this slider that means our slider id right that means that is actually our id so this is the id field also you have to delete it with a specific one of the id so it will be as a slider okay it will be as a slider edit and the slider 
delete. So here you have to create it. So it will be just like our brand, what exactly we did, right? So friend here, that's all. Okay, that's all. That is also, that is a permanent link. So from here, I didn't add the designation. So right now we don't want, I don't want to use it. I remove it from here. If you want to use it, you can actually use it. Okay. And that is our ad brand. So right now I want to do here, hmm, there is a brand image that means ad brand. So into the brand, if you go into the brand, you can see there is also ad brand is here. But right now I don't want to visible this like that way. Here I want to create another page for the ad brand. Then it should be better actually. So here I want to do, I want to actually remove everything from here. That is our table. There is our Dave. There is our another call for. So I want to do and remove it. Okay. So I want to remove this call dev. I simply remove it. Perfect. So now let's check this out. If you now click as a save all. And now if you refresh it. Now go to our slider. Yes, you can see it's now successfully loaded our this page. So that is our slider table as a all slider. There's a serial number, the slider title. I better make I want to do and to make it as a 12. So before that was actually um, eight. So I want to make it as a 12. Okay. Now let's check this out. Click the save all. Now refresh it. Yeah. Now it's actually 12. So here I want to do I want to add one of the button. So okay. Here I want to add one of the button for the add slider. Then it should be load another slider. So before I have loaded everything into the one same page. So right now I want to change it. Uh, here if you want to change it. So into the index here, I want to do, I want to add another one. Okay, I add one of the button. So if you want to add that button, I first of all, I take one of the A head if, and here hmm, I want to do, I want to add one of the button, button and button class, button class I want to add, and button class will be um, as a BTN. Okay, BTN, BTN primary or info, I make it as a info right now. A button name will be as the add slider so it will be as the add slider okay and then if you now check it I will save all um, click the refresh so now here you can see there is another button is added as a add slider right so now I want to do also I want to add one of the um, h3 then it should be better uh, I take one of the h3 or h2 okay I take as a h2 as a home slider Okay, that is our home slider page. Now click as a save all, refresh it. Yeah, and that is actually our home slider and that is our add slider. So after that, I want to do better. I want to make it as a four. Okay, that means the four. And then here I want to add one of the bracket. I add one of the bracket, sorry. That will be as a bracket. I also want to add another one. Okay, I want to add two of this bracket. Then now let's check this out. Let's click the save all. Actually, design is depends on you how much you actually want to look. So that is our add slider friends. Okay, so here if you want to make it as a into the right side, you can also make it into the right side area. So right now it's okay with me. So now, friend, I want to do if you click as a add slider, it should be turned redirect to our another page. And from here, I want to insert this our this slider. Okay, so how can do that work? But I want to continue this process. In our next video, I will show you that things with a live example. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.